Oh, well, um, all right, pretty much is um, um, a bike hailing um, solution to transportation challenges that we face currently. I'm sure in most cities you go to that are very busy, like Lagos, like the mega city, you would find traffic, you would find it difficult to move around. Um, to get from one point from point A to point B, you know, to try to get to your destination. On a typical Monday, I'm sure we know what the experience is. O-Ride provides a solution to as a response to, to that need. I'm sure that the experience has been quite good because um, I'm sure if you look at some of the reports, people are people who are stuck in traffic can easily now book a ride on the the bike can get to the destination in time. So if you're late for an interview or you're running late for an interview, you can get there in good time. You know, if you want to deliver a package, you can actually get the right to pick up the package and deliver that package. So I mean we're changing the landscape in terms of transportation and the ease of um, and to make it easy for people to get to to, to their destination. I, I mean, the fact is that we're scaling, we're growing. Um, we currently have at least over 600 riders in Lagos. Um, we already have about 3,000 bikes which, uh, which are being rolled out. The business is a growing business um, and the growth has been phenomenal. Um, and so we're expanding to other cities besides Lagos. We've launched in Nevada now. Um, we are also looking at some of the cities like Uweri, um, up north, potentially Kano and other cities. So we're expanding the, the, the service. But, well, I, I mean, we knew from the, the get-go that we would need to engage the regulators, we need to engage the government, we need to engage the unions. And we started off you know, on that note, <clears throat> even before we launched, we actually um, engaged um, several people in government. The kind of people who ride bikes are people you can control. You know, and I, I must say there's some truth to that, but you know, the, the thing is that when you train people, when you empower them, when you show them the right things to do, then they begin to change and they begin to act. And we're beginning to see those changes. You know, so we always knew that all you needed to do was train the people. The informal sector is very, very important. Um, if you look at any society, any city, the informal sector, Nigeria has a huge informal sector. And if, if we are going to grow, and like, going to, people are going to celebrate us as a people, then I mean, definitely we need to address the challenges in the informal sector. And that's why OPE, ORIDE, and all the things we are doing is focused mainly on empowering that informal sector. The thing is that we anticipate those, 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 those regulations, you know, because we are part of it. We are part of it. We, because we are engaging the, the regulators on an ongoing basis, we expect that, that whatever will come out will have our input in. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's all about engagement. You just have to keep collaborating, talking, and you know, uh, try to educate also people about the things and, and 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 the importance of making sure that things, you know, um, turn out. You know, there's there's a bit there's an improvement, you know, in in the way things work and the way things work. My name is Iniakwan, I'm the country manager for OPE in Nigeria and you're watching Business Day Tech Bridge.